sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. Why do we have to wait? What's going on here? Helen's in there, somewhere. And so is Aaron, that other Outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. City's locked down on account of the murder. If this keeps up, I'll be dead. It's always the merchants. Not getting through, Outlander. Halt! Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive! This, uh, we should celebrate! It drinks on me! We need to talk, alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. I, uh... I lost someone, too. At the Proving, the man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. But why is it every time something terrible happens, Everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, so that makes it easier. Yeah, why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back. Said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But... He's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Owen is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents, places he returns to? A house, here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. So many people here are talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. That girl. Is she a Nora? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. Find better work. 
Year. Why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister murdered, and her death unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursus murder? Not now. Maybe never in the Okay, how are we gonna get in? <laughs> oh, that was subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. That other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's trade. court. And the floor near it is worn. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Call it a day, girl. Wasting time. <laughs> Looks big and heavy. Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? Told him to obey or they'd kill his family. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. The glyphs show places he visited. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus, it's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances, and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you, through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. 
All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Redridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do. This place smells like hmm. nothing I've ever seen. You're an outlander. Nora from the look of you. Kind of I bet you're a machine hunter, too. I've hunted my share. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Don't bother with the Hunter's Lodge. If you're not Karja, you'll never rise in the ranks. What's wrong with the Hunting Lodge, exactly? Nothing, if you like stuck-up bigots. I'm known as a skilled hunter back home in Banur, so I thought I'd try my luck at the Lodge. I thought it'd be simple. Hunt machines, gain ranks, see who's best. But it doesn't work like that at all. It's all rigged to keep the Karja at the head of the line. <laughs> I don't need those snobs to tell me I can hunt. I'm going home. Are you saying that you have to be Karja to join the Lodge? No, they take other tribes. But they have rules in place to keep outlanders from gaining ranks. When Sun King Avad took over, he promised the new day, Meridian, open to all. But it's a sham. Sure, you can get a seat at the feast, but you just can't eat the food. Sounds like someone needs to shank things up at the Lodge. Maybe. But it isn't going to be me. If you decide to go, be sure to give them a good old-fashioned Banuk farewell mark in my honor. A Banuk farewell mark? What's that? Piss on the floor. Preferably someplace they won't find it until it gets nice and sour. you want to discuss you're an outlander which is good but a nora which might be bad do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe no although some can be dangerous then you may have come across what i seek in your travels have you found strange vessels emblazoned with symbols of the old ones they consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends if you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been breathtaking. But which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous. So you're interested in the old ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. 
Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. Yes, yes, trade quickly. I have work to do. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. Perhaps your travels have taken you through ancient ruins? Let us speak of it. the one the vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir. So that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape, and listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see. Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching his sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. There's a kind of peace with Sunfall. I fear it won't wares. last much longer. Check out these wares. The thief broke the lattice of pipes of blood, leading away. Rugged? Well traveled? Yeah. I'm still on the trail. I would like to talk to you. Still more blood. If you've got cut the gun. Come take a look. I'll give you You're a looking price. for artifacts. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banu. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben Ur. I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banu rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. 
Tell me more about these Banuk figures. Simple wood sculptures made by Arnak, a legendary hunter who was exiled from Ban Ur for killing his chief. He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them. If you have any. You said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk? Yes. I've been to Ban Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. You ready? Let's trade then. Come on back if you find any Banuk goods. Trailing's here. Someone must have seen the thief. Come, take a look. I'll give you a good price. We'll cheat you soon as you'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. So many come to the syndrome and can't be bothered to work. For you, Fine buy what you need, leave the rest. Price. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. It's an excuse for some people to build up its military until they choose to strike. I've got all the best goods here. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. Guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on.
I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them, of wealth and contentment, while people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Where's the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner Nassan disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. I can take over my brother's ship today, for sure. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. It looks like there was a scuffle here. If someone dragged Nassan off, there should be tracks. Oh, here we are. Let's see where they went. Aaron's waiting at Red Ridge Pass. Maybe I should go see him. The Shadow Carja outpost. Let's hope Masan is inside. What else you got? Not yet. I'm gonna make you pay for that. Let this strike fall. The word of shadow. I got the sun, all right. He needs help. Get you out of here. I thought that old salt had abandoned me. Guess I owe him a slap on the back. Come on, this way.
Kindeev told me about the cause. Did you lose the shipment? No. It's hidden nearby. There's a lot of hungry people in Sunfall that will be happy to see it. Good. Now, listen. When you head back to Meridian, talk to a noble named Ravon. If you're honest with him, I think he'll help. Beg a high blood for help? <sighs> but after everything you've done, I can't refuse. But for now, I'm bound for Sunfall. Be safe. A man named Nissan came to see me, and we came to an arrangement. I think many in Sunfall will benefit from it. All this from a stolen sword. As they say, follow the shadow, and you'll find a flame. Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander, then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. What kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim, is an Asaron who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glindhawks perched there, drawn to the spires shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. 
We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the Red Raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried. In the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. You are a better hunter than I. I'll paint the mark while the spirits of the Glinthawks linger. There'll be more where they came from. Yes, there will always be more machines. Their spirits find new bodies, but we only last as long as memory. That's why I must leave this story. A monument to our vanished shamans, To the wisdom the Karja bled from us. The machine oil in the paint will preserve it. Preserve their memory against all that was cut away. You have my thanks, Hunter.
When we fled from our cages during the liberation, I tore through this clearing, thinking my friend was behind me. I kept running, but here she remains. Thank you for making it safe for me to return. I don't want to rush you, but it won't stay safe for long. I understand. I've done this before in waking dreams. In the pool, I'll find the bracelet of seeds she dropped when she fell. The seeds will be split, escaped, grown wild. She's passing from my memory into the jungles. I'll tell her it was I who died here and became a stranger in our own land. And she who still lives in every time of planting, of rains, harvests, and... Oh. What is it? There. Her bracelet. And... I thought she was behind me. But there's only my reflection. Do you need to be alone? For the first time, I am. Shrine of Kings that your mom sure me the sun's rise if he's all You won't get in there. That dried up old prune in a robe sees to that. I can be persuasive. But what does an Osram want with a Karja shrine anyway? It reminds me of someone. Gone two years now. But what does a girl like you know of loss? Try me. I had a lover. Worked on monuments to their bastard king. Then he gave them a show in their sun ring for good measure. The Karja gave me back his broken bones, but what use are they? They won't build again. They won't make me smile. And seeing a statue of the Mad Sun King will? I, I need to see his work again. The marks his hands carved. The set of the metals they hammered. That's the soul of him. But that shriveled up old priest won't let me near it. I'll see what I can do. Turn away, child. The abiding Jahaman wishes to be alone in his retreat. If you want to be alone, go someplace else. Others want to pray here. Defile it, you mean? Yet another debasement of what was once pure. Truly, our tribe has lost the light. Our king is false, our temple is corrupt, and our soldiers weak. The sun hastens across the sky for shame. So the Karja have become impure? What does that even mean? Is Meridian not meant for those who built it, who made it great? It was pure before outlander squatters took it over. You mean Meridian was pure when the outsiders were in cages or dying in your arena? The sun is pure, child. It is not our place to question its divine will, only to act upon it. I thought Avad taking the throne was the sun's will. The boy dishonored his father, dishonored us all. To kill a sun king, what shadow, what twilight time he brought upon us. And how many more would the mad Sun King have killed if Avad hadn't stopped him? The sun called for blood. There was no choice but to obey. You called the temple corrupt, but aren't you one of its priests? They call themselves sun priests, but they have no authority. Youths and sycophants all. Yet those who gave their whole lives to the sun's service are shamed and ignored. So that's what this is. A tantrum? A cry for attention? You know nothing of our rights, and yet you dare to insult me. Why do you think your army is weak? Because you're not at war with everyone? 
A Karja throne relying on forged dirt mercenaries? Preposterous! The so-called liberation was nothing but a purge. Our most blessed warriors, chased out of the city, exiled to Sunfall and the Forbidden West. Our tribe is torn. The ones who walked in light now go by shadow. And yet everyone but you seems happy they're gone. I'm done arguing with you. Stay or go, but I won't allow you to keep others away. I am here by the will of the sun. If you won't accept change, you should try to make peace with it. Your bitterness has poisoned you. I have no need of your pity. I wasn't offering it. But if you step aside, you can keep your pride, since it's so important to you. There'll be a reckoning. You'll back away from it. Good to see you. I'm ground down to the bone. No interest in chatter. He gave them the best work he'd ever do. And look at it now. They defaced it because they hated what it stood for. They defaced a thing slaves like him lived and died for. Slaves they've already forgotten. Short-sighted bastards the lot. If they thought their son set off this bridge, they'd jump after it. I thank you for honoring my wish. I hope you can find peace. Uh, I wouldn't know what to do with it, any more than the Karja do. Well. So you've come back to the temple. I was invited back. The priests wanted to hear what I had to say about reconciliation with the other tribes. They're listening. At least they've begun to listen. There's a distance between ears and deeds. Because of what we did? What you did. It was for the mourners. I think it helped them. You set them on the path. You can't know what their journeys hold. Such is the priest's lot. Perhaps a red robe would suit you. <laughs> Not me. Besides, your temple doesn't even take women. We would be richer if we did. Go in light, my friend. And let the sun cast your way. Thank you, Naman. Where I'm going, I could probably use all the light I can get. <laughs> 